Hey Facebook, I'm just going to see if a couple of people log on before I get started because this is an important topic. Ooh, got wind blowing everywhere. So what I wanted to talk about today, okay, I've had a packed morning of sessions today. I'm talking like back to back to back. And a really, really common trend that has come out of this morning sessions is communication and the importance of communication. And I even experienced this a little bit myself last week within my own business. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to talk about it because we all know how important communication is, whether it's with our loved ones, our friends, a work colleague, a sibling, it doesn't matter who it is, okay? Communication is what makes the world go round. Being able to communicate with people makes you a really good person, basically, to be in a relationship with. So this is why I wanted to talk about this today, because a lot of our resentment, a lot of our upset, a lot of our anger and hurt in relationships comes from a lack of communication. So not communicating enough or not even communicating at all. So that's, that's half the problem and that's why I wanted to speak about it today, the importance of actually being able to communicate and not just being able to communicate when it's easy because we all know that when something's easy to say and easy to communicate, we don't have a problem communicating it, right? But as soon as something's a little bit tricky, and I say as soon as your voice starts to shake and you feel that, you know, that hole in your stomach, like I can't believe I'm about to say this or I don't know that I can say this, believe it or not, those are the moments that are most important. That's when you have to be able to communicate the most in those times when your voice shakes. And here's why, okay? Because how many times have you thought You've created a story in your head that someone else thinks something about you or has said something about you or is doing something in particular to even maybe upset you. How many times have you created that story in your head, right, where you've said to yourself, I can't believe they're doing this to me. I can't believe that person has, you know, said this to make me unhappy or they're doing this just to get at me. And truth be told, you don't really know what what the truth is right you don't really know what the story is but we create these stories in our head we watch people do things we listen to what they say and then we start to think well that has to be about me right that must be about me then we start creating a story then we attach ourselves to that story and then what happens it's like a downward spiral one negative emotion after another and then we start becoming the victim And then before we've even spoken to this person about it, we've already created a story in our mind that this person doesn't like us, this person has something against us, whatever it is that you're creating. And so this is why it's so important to communicate. If Even if you think that someone is doing something to get at you or to upset you, being able to communicate with that person is so important. Reason number one, it gives you perspective. It gives you another perspective. I don't know how many times I have thought something, and I know that I'm sure a lot of you have felt the same way, where you have thought something that maybe someone feels a a certain way about you, or they've said something about you, and then you've ran with that story for days, weeks, maybe even months, before even approaching that person. And then you go to them and you say, I just wanted to ask you about xyz that happened a week ago a month ago a few days ago because this is how it made me feel and I I don't know if this is how you were meaning to get a message across to me or how you were meaning to make me feel but I just wanted to gain some perspective here I just wanted to see if that was your intention and a lot of the time a lot of the time if you know in your heart that these people are a good honest person and you trust these people most of the time then what you've done by communicating is you have allowed yourself to gain a different perspective which means you're no longer running with the story that you have created in your head that has made you feel shitty and upset and angry for god knows how long and that's why i love communicating 
because it gives me a different perspective. I don't want to feel upset. I don't want to feel angry. And I want to be able to communicate to someone if I'm not feeling okay about something, if I'm feeling unhappy about something. And a lot of the times what I thought was the truth was not the truth at all. And by communicating how I feel, they've been able to turn around and give me a different perspective. And I no longer feel upset. I no longer feel hurt because I've cleared the air and I've been able to find out the truth. Because once you know the truth, you can't unknow it. Once you know what the real story is, you can't unknow it. So then you no longer have a reason to run with the story in your head. It, when you run with a story and you don't communicate, you just start creating drama that doesn't exist. Like I said, how many times have you felt something for days, weeks, months, and then you've gone to that person and you finally had the guts to say how you feel and they've gone, I'm so sorry you feel that way because that's not, that's not what I was intending to do at all. That, that wasn't my intention when it comes to how you feel. So nipping it in the butt and being able to communicate allows you to get rid of that story instantly instead of running with it and allowing it to make you feel shitty for days and months on end. It allows other people to be open with you. When you are a good communicator, when you can summon the courage to communicate with people, it then gives them the courage to be open with you. If people feel like you're an honest person, if people feel like you communicate with them well, they're going to feel like they can communicate with you. It's like you give people permission to be honest with you, even if they think it's going to hurt you. Even if you think they think that you may not like what they're going to say, the simple fact that you're a good communicator and that you communicate with them gives people permission and the courage to be an effective communicator with you. Like I said, it betters your relationships. It makes your relationships better. You feel closer to people. You feel like you can be yourself more. Because what's the one thing we feel if we don't communicate with people? We feel closed off. We don't feel like ourselves. We don't feel like we can say how we feel. We don't feel valued. We don't feel appreciated. So being in relationships with someone that you have a really open relationship with and you do communicate well with, how much better are those relationships? They are so much better. It makes you feel like you don't have to hide a part of you. You can just be yourself. It's also, when you communicate with people, and this is something that I have found, right? I'm even going to give you an example. When you communicate with people, by you speaking up about an issue that maybe a lot of other people are feeling and thinking, by you being the one to be able to speak up, even if your voice shakes, even if it makes you feel scared, if you can be the one to speak up, as a result, you are going to help everyone else around you. Now, I remember a couple of jobs ago where I was working in a gym because I've been working in gyms most of my life or most of my working life anyway. And we had a manager who was, <laughs> okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna say the word because it's not nice to speak about people like that, but she wasn't very nice, put it that way. She was very demeaning towards people. She made people feel very insignificant and below her. She was very much a manager, one of those managers that likes to come in, crap on everyone, and then fly out again, the seagull managers, that's pretty much what she did. She wasn't a leader. And she made it very obvious that she liked belittling us. And as a result, her staff members didn't like her. They didn't want to work for her. They didn't want to do much for her because why would you when you get treated like that? And so one day I summoned the courage, knowing full well that I could probably get fired because of what I was about to do. But I went to her and I told her, I said, this is how you're making everyone feel. And we aren't performing for you because you're not creating an environment that feels fun to work in. 
it doesn't feel like a culture. We feel like you're slaves. We feel underappreciated. And I brought this to her attention. And it's obviously you don't say it in a way that's rude and bitchy. I was talking to her exactly like I'm talking to you. I made her aware of how she was making everyone feel. Her management style was not working for the rest of the team. And believe it or not, I didn't get fired. She actually turned around and she appreciated my honesty. And she messaged me that night and said, I just want to thank you for having the guts to come to me and make me aware of this. And I'm going to take it on board and I'm going to do something about it. And as a result, even though my voice was shaking, even though I was scared knowing I could possibly lose my voice for being so honest with her, in the end, it turned out better for me and for everyone involved. So by me having the courage to speak up, everyone else involved benefited from that. And as a result, there was change made in the workplace. So guys, I guess this is my point today that I'm trying to get across to you all today okay I know that communicating is not easy when it's something that's difficult to say when you're finding it hard to communicate how you feel or when it's something that you know someone may not take too kindly it is freaking hard to communicate but I can tell you when you do communicate and when you do have that courage to say how you feel from the heart, and I'm not talking about speaking ego to ego, I'm talking about communicating heart to heart. Because when you speak from your ego, you're going to reach someone else's ego. When you speak from your heart, you'll reach someone else's heart. So whenever you're communicating, your delivery is important, obviously. Delivery is a must when you're communicating. But just understanding that when you can communicate how you feel and you give yourself that freedom and the permission to be completely open and honest with people, it is the most liberating feeling you will ever feel. You will feel liberated, you will feel free, you will feel like you can be you. And as a result, your confidence and your self-worth will increase. Because when we don't feel like we can communicate well with people or we can't communicate how we feel, we don't have a lot of self-worth. We don't have a lot of confidence. So the more you can get okay with communicating effectively, even if it's a hard conversation, people are going to respect you more. People are going to value you more as a person, as a friend, as a work colleague. And that's, that's what you have to understand, that communication is just about being open and honest and yourself And if people don't appreciate that about you, well, the wrong people won't appreciate that about you. Not the right people. The right people will thank you. They will take it on board. And they will appreciate the fact that they have an honest friend in you. The wrong people will probably create their own drama and their own story. And I know you're probably saying, well, what if I communicate how I feel to someone and they don't take it too kindly? That's just a result of them creating their own story. You have triggered something for them. Sorry, you guys can't see me that well. But the sun is not at a great angle. So just remember that, guys. You know, if you have communicated how you feel to someone and they haven't taken it well, it's no reflection on you. It just means you have triggered something within them. Sometimes they will come around. I don't know how many times I've been honest with people, with friends, and they've said they may have been upset or hurt in the beginning, and then they've come back and said, I'm so glad that you were honest with me. I appreciate your honesty. And they end up thanking me for it. So that's my, that's my little spiel today, guys. Let me know your thoughts below on this topic if you struggle with communicating or you've got any questions around it, leave, whoo, that's a big dog. Leave your questions below and I will answer them. Um, and just remember, just be you. Be you in this world, guys, because that's what people need. And that's what people want. Have an awesome day and I will speak to you all soon. Bye.